I know many of you would have visited this house for a long time. This house is next to, you can see the building behind it, the modern building behind it is called Equity Kenya Office. And then on the other side, you can see Equity Center. Now this place, for those of you who visit this place, this compound is owned by Equity Bank and it is usually, you can see there is a lot of uh, space here. Equity Head Office usually use it as their parking lot. They park all the way to this place. It's quite a big plot. Now this house, the, uh, the reason why I'm recording it, you will not believe it. You'll, uh, you'll find out that on the sides of this house is wooden. And the other side uh, is a stone house. This is the house where Honorable Stanley Shebashina Ole Oloitip Tip used to stay when he was the Minister for Natural Resources in 1979. It is still standing. And the interesting thing about this house is that it shows how modest cabinet ministers those days used to stay. Uh, it is obvious that this house is a, an old house. And somebody could say, 1979, this house was an upper house. Yes, it was an upper house. But compared to ordinary people, because those days we did not have Runda, those days we had Langata and Lavington. So comparing the minister then, Honorable Stanley Shepashina Ole Ole Tip Tip staying in this house, it's like staying in a middle class place. But let me ask you, does any of our ministers today agree to stay in a middle class house? I doubt. In fact, I don't think that a minister would want to stay in Lavington today. They would want to stay in Runda. So, this is what I'm trying to say. He was a minister during Jomo Kenyatta's time and the early days of Arab Moi. I want to tell the young generation that in those days, mini, uh, politics was a calling. Politics was not a place for grabbing properties, grabbing land and staying a lavish lifestyle. He was staying in Upper Hill in the same circumstances as middle level managers of the Kenya Railways to Metokambali. 